right, so if you ain't really catch my drift in the last video, I'm gonna just come out and say I am a flat earther. But not in the tabletop sense of flat earth. I look at it as more of a snow globe. Things like that. Uh, or like a bowl system. Um, excuse the drawing, I'm not an artist. But this is how I see it. Alright. As you can see, you've got the land mass in the middle. You got the water towards the outside, and then you've got the high walls, which are quote unquote uh, Antarctica and all that. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be the bottom of the globe, supposedly, but it's not really. It's just a big wall. And then, as NASA actually came out and admitted earlier this year, the moon is within our atmosphere. So is the sun. They haven't admitted that yet, but they did admit earlier this year that the moon is actually within our atmosphere. So, it's just one of those things where you get to thinking, because I know a lot of people kind of check out either after this video or once I said that I was a flat earther, and if you stuck around, I appreciate you, uh, just for having an open mind, even if you don't agree with me. But uh, as I said in the earlier video, for me, it's a lot of negative confirmation bias. Everybody wants so desperately to believe that it's a globe and we're spinning and there's curvature and all this, but there's no real evidence to lend to it. Another bombshell, if you haven't been following my channel, um, I believe in the Bible. I'm not a Christian, so don't start that, um, but I believe in the Bible. I believe it is a history book and a tool for us to be used, given to us by the creator. A lot of people's reasons for not believing in the Bible or not subscribing to the things from it is because it was written by man. But my challenge for those people is show me a book that wasn't written by man. We spend all this money to go to a building for years to get a piece of paper that says we was in that building for years and we know this, that, and the third. And we believe those books also written by man, but we don't believe this one book because it tells us Different truths, you feel what I'm saying? Truths about yourself, truths about the people around you, and just how to be a better person. Doesn't say it's easy. In fact, it actually tells you that it's hard. <laughs> like I said, a lot of people do mental gymnastics when they hear things that they don't agree with. And I want to believe all the fairy tales and uh, sunshines and rainbows that the world has set forth for us. But for whatever reason, I just can't. So yeah, the, the world is flat. Um, like I showed you, it's more like a snow globe. Um, it's the biggest lie in human history and it has its greatest importance in one aspect like I said it's 5D chess so there's many different reasons why and why not it's important but to me why it's important is for the things to come if and when The powers that be plan and execute this alien invasion, whatever it may be, 
the reason the shape of the world is will be important is so you know what's real. Like I said, it's about the truth. By knowing that we are in an enclosed system and that there are no other planets, you also know that there are no spaceships to come from another planet or to come from outer space in order to attack us. You won't be, you'll be disillusioned. You won't fall for the BS. Because with today's technology, it's getting easier to deceive the masses. Holograms, things of that nature. But I'm just going to end it on that. Um, the world is flat, y'all. We're in an enclosed system. There's nowhere to go. And it's uh, it's actually the first sentence in the Bible. In the beginning, or the first verse, I should say. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Not the sun and the rest of the universe. Stay tuned for the next one.